Hey guys! Boom! I'm back. So, I know I told you yesterday that I was going to do a video on my acrylic inks, but um, I really didn't have much to say about them. I would be like, here's all my inks. The end. And um, that would have been boring. So I thought I would show you guys my watercolor notebooks and paper. They're all very different. And um, so here's the pile of them. Uh, I got this tiny little one that is a tumorata. I can't say the word. I don't know how to say that word. It has a little pocket in there. You can put little stuff in there. Um, maybe a leaf, whatever. I got, I got all kinds of stuff in there. Um, swatches. And that's cute to bring with you. Um, the, I got two Behongs, one cold press and one hot press. I have my, my one that I always, uh, uh, use my Strathmore. These are beautiful. But so anyway, I have a lot of them. So I thought I would show you them one by one and paint a little bit on each of them. I even have a black one, an aqua, aqua cold press Stonehenge one. And I have some of my Psy watercolor that is specifically for black and it ships on the black water color. So yeah, uh, I want to show you the differences in um, the textures, the differences in, you know, how good they are compared to the cheaper one. You know what I mean? So anyway, um, let's begin. So again, I will, let me see if I can push this out. I'm going to use my, um, my squirrel tail brush. Not that crappy one I was using the um, past couple of days. I don't know why I chose the, the worst paintbrush in my in my pile. I have a lot of really cool watercolor paintbrushes from the teeny 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 weeny one. Do you see it? Let me see if I put it up by my hand. To my really big squirrel, my squirrel hair. To uh, where's the flat one? Oh yeah, and I got this flat brush that I really like too. So, and they all do really cool. Uh, some of them are really good. Uh, some of them are just, you know, stuff I had for a long time. So, anyway, yeah, so this one is called uh, Tumorata. Tumorata, I guess. All right, let's open it up, and I'll show you. Let me wash, uh, get some water on my brush, get a little paint. Let's see what color do I want to use. I'll use red. Red's my favorite color. Red and orange are my favorite colors. And I'll show you how beautiful it lays down on this one. Look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful, right? And it feels really good on it. If you ever find this book, I, I, would, I would suggest that you get it. It just takes the paint. It just it just looks so beautiful on here. You know, look at that. All right. Next one is okay. Let me see. Is this the yeah? This one. I'm gonna do this one first. This one is the the. Uh, oh, I get them mixed up all the time. the hot press the cold press not sure oh my gosh it's probably sitting right there in front of me and I can't see it I think this is the oh my gosh hold on for a second I gotta pause you and think so it doesn't say that on here but this is hot press and it's a look this one Beihong Beihong I'm not sure if I'm saying it right or not uh, these little notebooks are absolutely beautiful and it's not a notebook. I'm sorry. They're blocks. They're tiny little block block paper and they are absolutely amazing. Um, this one is really smooth. It doesn't have any, um, any grit to it. So you'll see, see how smooth it lays down. 
and there's no, it's just like a smooth, oops, sorry about that. It's just smooth. It doesn't have any tooth. Yeah, I guess that's the word. But this one does. So this one's the cold press. And if you could see the teeth in it, let's see if you could see it. Yeah, you could see it like that. Uh, this one's just beautiful. I, and I love, I love these. These are really, really nice. If you find these, I would get the, everything I got, except for like one of them. Um, I don't really like that much, but beautiful, right? Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can... Trying to smooth it out a little bit, make it little, little thick in one spot and light, but look how beautiful that is. That's a really good notebook. Bay ho hong. Bay ho hong. <laughs> okay, so, and I'm going smallest to largest, not like best to worst or anything like that. This is my Strathmore, and I love this one because you can do really like, um, like long pictures of like a whole scene across, you know what I mean? Or you could just sketch in one spot. So, I'll show you this one. Get a little pin on me. On my brush. And yeah, because you can see the teeth. It's very um, it's not as it doesn't have as much tooth as that the one I just showed you, but it's not as smooth as the other one either. This one is really great, especially for just grabbing and going outside. A lot of the smaller ones I love taking outside with me. But yeah, this notebook, uh, I love this one. I actually, if you could see, I wrote on it number three. Um, I number them on the sides because I use these so much. They're like, I don't know, like they cost like 20 bucks at Michael's. And a lot of times you can get a buy one, get one free. That's when I start stacking up. Uh, before I do this one, I'll show you this one also. Um, this is another Strathmore book that I really like and um, but it's just bigger. I numbered this one also. And it's the same exact paper, except that it's larger. And it's a little thinner, like that, the other one's very thick. And I did, um, this is from the acrylic from yesterday on here, but let me show you, hold on. Let me get some paint again. And um, so this one's got a little, it's a little smoother and, and the paper is thinner, but it still takes water um, color real good. Watercolor, gouache, whatever. So you see how smooth that is? So then the next one is my Paul Rubens. And I really like this. This is actually a block also. And it's very fancy, as you can see. And... It's got, oh, and I've already, I've, oh, my goodness. I got a painting on it. Um, what should I do? What should I do? You know what? I'll, I'll paint a little spot on it. Or maybe I don't have to because it's already got paint on it. So you could see how beautiful the paint lays on it. Shiny ones or the metallic ones, regular colors, um, marker. I mean, absolutely beautiful the way it lay, lays down all colors, all, I mean, all paint, uh, acrylic, gouache, watercolor, especially, and I even do marker and it does not go through. So, um, yeah, that one's kind of a fancy smancy one. Look, it's got, I don't know why it's upside down, but it has a little Paul Rubens stamp on it. <laughs> and then boom. So, okay. Now, woohoo. We got, I'm going to the Stonehenge, um, my aqua cold press, black. Let's see, let's get to, um, let me see. I'm painting, oh, this one, this, so far what I've been doing on this um, is, as you can see, it's a cat. Uh, this is chalk or um, a pastel pencil, white, that I'm using on here. So um, I will... I'll show you 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the um, the um, watercolors that are for black paper. And you, so you could see, I'll do it on the other side, uh, so you could see how it, it shifts. But I got to really walk, I got to get, I got to put water in it, hold on. That's the only thing about the side watercolor. They really, you got to like what, add water to it like every single time. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get, let me get some more water. You got to really, really get it. Okay. So let me see. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. So beautiful. Well, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Jeez. Let's see. Like I said, the only thing I don't like about the salt, you gotta constantly add like water, water, water. All right. All right. Let's see if you can see it shifting. Oh yeah, you can see it. See that? Cool, right? Let's see if it shifts a different color. There's greens and reds in that one. And, uh, yeah, I love that. And I, I don't know if you can see how beautiful it lays down, but you can still see the bot, the um, grit to it. It's got very light grit. And it's really good for um, pastel pencils that, that I noticed. Okay. Now, here's the one that I don't like so much. It, this is the uh, Artist Loft, the third, third level. As you can see, and it's a block, and um, I like it, but I don't. I don't know what I don't know how to describe it. That when I I um, paint on it, it just seems dull at the end. Like I keep using the same color red on the white paper so that you could see all the difference. But like um, I've painted pictures, it looks really beautiful and juicy when it lays down. But when it dries, it just looks chalky, or not chalky, but um, it looks bland or something. It doesn't pop. But that's only when it's, you know, when it's dry. And so I don't know how to describe it. And when I'm using this block, it bubbles. It bubbles up. Now, a block is, the whole reason behind a block is that it stays flat while you're painting it. But this one, it bubbles up. It's very strange. Okay, so let's go to the... Okay, so... Ooh, 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 wait a second. This one. This one's brand new to me. I literally got it yesterday in the mail. And I wanted to try it out here. Um, this is called... I don't know, it just says... Wait, I know it has a name. It's a fluid cold press finish watercolor paper 140 pound 30 gsm and there's fifth it's an easy block 15 sheets bound on two edges so uh okay i see so let's see yeah i guess it's just called fluid but it had some really good reviews on it so it's not bound on this side and it's not bound on this side it's only bound here yeah it's very thickly bound here and, and here. So let's try this one. I haven't tried this one yet. So, oh yeah, that looks nice. It's kind of slippery. It moves real nice across the paper. As you can see, it's like literally dripping. This would be good to do like a watercolor pour on. Definitely, definitely. Maybe that's why it's called fluid. Okay, and this one's also new to me. Um, Hanamule, Hanamule watercolor, um, 30 gm squared, 140 pound, 12 sheets in this, aquarelle cold pressed. So um, this one looked really pretty. Look, it all comes in different, it's like the collection. And it comes in different languages right here. Uh, this one's, as you can see it. And um, then when you open it up, it's got this, excuse me, it's got this really thin, beautiful piece of paper protecting the front cover. <laughs> so um, I am going to try 
Uh, don't worry, I'm not wasting this paper because I'm going to go back and do like a, an abstract on these papers with the red. So, all right, let's see how this lays. Oh, I like this. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, my God. And you can't see, you know what I like this about this one? You can't really see the grit or the, um, like the shape of the paper. I don't know how to explain it, but a lot of the paper has like a, a like a, a pattern on it. I don't see any pattern under that paint. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Definitely get, try this paper. Definitely. Oh my God. And then, of course, our old time favorite, Arches. Woohoo! Of course, Arches. We all love Arches paper. Now, this isn't the block. This is just an, um, uh, the pad. But, you know, I like the block. And I do have one. I'm just using this one because it's new. It's a new fresh, new fresh pad, so I have to force myself to paint on it or I'll never paint on it. Because I'll be like, oh, this stuff's too expensive. I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it. I think that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video is to make sure I painted on this. <laughs> now, of course, that's beautiful. You see that? Look at that. So actually, now Arches, of course, is my all time favorite, but I think that Hannah, Hannah Buell or whatever it's called is my new favorite. That one. Yeah, I think that's my new favorite. Definitely. But I do love all my notebooks, all my paper, water, watercolor paper. And I just wanted to share that all with you. And um, I hope you're having a great day. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.